Okay, next in our cybersecurity role explanation series is GRC analyst, governance, risk, and compliance analyst. Let's peek behind in the curtain of what GRC analysts do. People think cybersecurity is all hacking and firewalls, but someone needs to make sure the company actually follows the rules. That's where you come in as GRC analyst. Your morning starts with an email. The company wants to expand to Europe, which means GDPR compliance. You open your GRC platform, stuff like ServiceNow, GRC, and start mapping out what needs to happen. GDPR has 99 articles, and you need to translate that legal jargon into actual security controls. You schedule meetings with data protection team, HR, and IT. This is where communication skills become everything. You are explaining to marketing why they can't just buy email lists anymore and to developers why they need to build in data deletion features. You're not just the rule enforcer anymore. You're the translator between the legal, business, and technical teams. By afternoon, you're conducting risk assessment using risk software. You are evaluating a new cloud security service the company wants to use. What data will go there? What happens if it gets breached? You assign risk scores and document everything in Excel. Yes, Excel is your unexpected best friend in GRC. Next week is the ISO 27001 audit. You've spent months preparing, ensuring every policy is updated, every control is documented. You're reviewing evidence in RSA Archer, making sure you can prove the company does what it says it does. The job isn't glamorous, but when auditor says you passed, you know your work just saved the company from losing major contracts. Your ability to read regulations without falling asleep becomes your superpower. You're the reason the company stays compliant, insured, and trusted. You also help company build and write security policies and controls. Now, the typical certifications in that type of field would be ISO 27001 Lead Auditor. There are specific GRC certifications that might help you, but you need to understand stuff like NIST CSF frameworks, NIST RMF frameworks, how risk assessments are done and risk is measured and calculated and how to meet compliance regulations. So let me know, guys, if you are pursuing career in GRC, how are you developing your own skills and paving your own cybersecurity journey? Until next time, hope this explains you guys what is GRC. Catch you later.